Hi guys, today we're gonna make pita chou or we can call it cream puff. Our ingredients today will be five ounces of milk, half cup of water, three eggs, half cup of butter, half cup plus tablespoon sifted flour or purpose flour mixed with one teaspoon sugar and one teaspoon salt. So we're gonna need the saucepan we're going to mix the water, milk, and the butter. We're going to boil them in medium hot. And we're going to wait until it got boiled. After it got boiled, we're gonna add the sifted flour with salt and sugar one time. And then we're gonna try to mix it with a wooden spoon until we got a ball form. Okay guys, now we have the boiled uh, milk, water, and butter. So we're gonna add the sifted flour one time. And keep, mix them until we have the form, a ball form. Just keep, and we can cook it like two more minutes. Almost there. And I have the cake mixer ready. I'm gonna use the puddle. And then I'm gonna add the firm bowl in the mixer and try to uh, mix it for two minutes just to take off the heat. Now you can see the firm bowl. So I'm gonna flip it here and then try to turn on the mixer using the puddle, trying to take off the heat for two minutes on medium speed. So after two minutes is done, I'm gonna add one egg at a time. And mix it a little bit until it's separating. Turn it off to create it down again. So you're gonna see, doesn't look like it's um, mixed all together. But when we're gonna turn it on, like for five minutes, maybe less, it will be incorporated. Now the batter is ready. So I'm gonna scrape down all the batter. And then we gonna talk about the pastry piping bag. So I have the pastry piping bag and I have the tip number 805. So I'm gonna cut like a small piece from the top and then insert the 805 tip like this. I'm gonna squirt a little bit. Okay. This is going to make it easier for us to pour the batter. This one is ready. So now we're going to talk about the tray. Because we need the pata or the cream puff to be all of them same size. We don't want to have small one and big one. So what I have here, I have a I'm, uh, I made a stencil and I have this round shape. So what I did here, I hope you can see it. So I have the Sharpie and I did like a three times five circle like this. And we don't want them all close to each other. Let me show you like this, can you see the circles? But 
the Sharpie, I'm gonna put it on the bottom because I don't want the Sharpie to be on the uh, dough. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. So I'm gonna put a little bit here because I wanna stick it on the tray. It's like a glue. I'm gonna use it as a glue because I don't want the paper to move. So there is a certain way to use this one, but please don't panic. Any way you're gonna do, it's all about practice. So what I'm gonna do, just keep pushing on the bottom and then swirl like this. So now I have everything is ready. I have 15 pieces of the cream puff and the oven is heated 350. And then I'm gonna insert the tray in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. Don't open the oven during the 25 minutes. So now, so the cream puff, it has two kind of cream inside the filling. We're gonna make now the pastry cream. The pastry cream ingredients, it's two cups of milk, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, quarter cup of butter, two whole eggs, and two egg yolks. And the dry ingredients is four tablespoons of cornstarch mixed with quarter cup of sugar and one, one quarter of teaspoon salt. So in the beginning, I'm gonna mix the eggs, both of them. So before I continue with this one, I'm gonna pour the milk and vanilla and pour them on medium heat while I'm mixing the eggs. Medium heat. Okay, mix the two whole eggs with two yolks and then add the dry ingredients. Keep mix. After we have the milk and vanilla boiled, I'm gonna temper the milk with the, the egg mixture. Now the milk got boiled. I'm gonna temple the milk a little bit with keep whisking, cause I don't want the hot milk affect the eggs. Keep a little bit of milk and keep whisking. Now I'm gonna return the whole mixture to the saucepan and put it back on the medium heat and keep whisking until it got a little bit thick, like for 30 seconds, and I will add the butter to it. So now the mixture got thick 
So I'm gonna add butter to it and keep mix until the butter got no. After the butter got milk, I'm gonna strain it to have a smooth cream, pastry cream. I'm gonna strain it all to have a very smooth cream. After I strain it, I'm gonna attach di directly the plastic wrap on top of it. So I'm gonna put directly on top of it, like attach it because we don't want to have any like a thick top on top of the cream so like this so we're done from the pastry cream I'm gonna prepare the other cream and then at the end I'm gonna mix them together and fill the cream puff okay so and now we're gonna make a chocolate ganache to dip the cream puff in it. So this is one cup of uh, chocolate chip and one cup of heavy cream. Um, I heat it with a medium heat and I'm pouring over the chocolate chip. I'll leave it for two or three minutes and then we will whisk it. So going back to the, um, to the uh, pastry cream we made, that, that was made from the egg and egg yolks. And then I told you the filling it's mix of the two kinds of cream. This is the easy cream, just like a one cup heavy cream mixed with one teaspoon of vanilla extract and quarter cup of powder sugar. Just keep whisk until you have this cream. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna whisk this cream just to soft it. a little bit to the whipped cream and then keep mixing add it all now and after I mix them I'm going to use the pastry bag with the small tip to fill the cream puff. So I'm going back to the chocolate chip and heavy cream. So just keep mixing. From the middle. Okay. After I mixed the two kinds of cream to fill the cream puff, I made the chocolate ganache from the chocolate chip and uh, heavy whoopy cream. And the, the puff pastry is ready out of the oven. So uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fill them out with the cream. So I put the cream on the pastry bag using this very tiny tip or you can use whatever you have at home. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fill it. So I have the chocolate ganache ready. So I'm gonna squirrel. Just a little bit like this. 